Well, it's not how much I'm going to write. It's, it's somehow I'm, I'm almost sure that fate and destiny has it for me to be. Boxing to me was my C plan in life. You know, I had A, B, and C plan. That was a C plan. But now that I'm into it, it's become an A plan for now. You know, and I have other things I would like to do. But right now, I'm a fighter. In 1982, Braxton changed his name to Dwight Muhammad Kwawi. Coming up later, Al Bernstein shares his thoughts on both fighters in his continuing series, Bernstein Unboxing. We now present the 1981 WBC Light Heavyweight Championship fight between Matthew Saad Muhammad and Dwight Braxton on ESPN Classic. Welcome to Atlantic City for the 1981 WBC Light Heavyweight title bout between the champion Matthew Saad Muhammad and the challenger Dwight Braxton here on ESPN Classic. Introducing the principals. In the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with the black trim and the black lettering, he is weighing in at 174 and three quarter pounds. From Camden, New Jersey, the challenger, the Camden Massage, Dwight Braxton. Braxton. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the gold trim and the gold lettering, he is tipping the scales at 174 and one half pounds. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the World Boxing Council and Heavyweight Champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad. Saad Muhammad. All right, we're about ready for the action. It's a 20 by 20 ring, 10 point must scoring system, three knockdown rule. Wave the tail of the tape being set before you. Again, Saad Muhammad had to take off three pounds this morning. That shows you the height differential and the reach edge that I've already referred to, but Braxton has a way of diminishing that edge. This one could be a war. It figures to be a tough fight. And Saad Muhammad's stamina, perhaps a key question. Arthur McCanny, the third man in the ring, the best there is in all the world at what he does. And the knockdown timer, the alternate referee, Tony Perez, himself a distinguished third man in the ring. The bell for the start of round one. Now watch to see if Saad Muhammad keeps trying to work that jab to box the opponent. And thus, in a sense, change his style. Try to keep Braxton off. Bring it up, bring it up. Forty five seconds into the fight. Saad Muhammad is at the moment wary, trying to use that left. We are using a new camera above ringside, just above it, at ringside, and it operates by remote control, a development of the ABC engineering department. It was first used by us in the Holmes Leon Spinks fight. The Holmes Snipes fight, I should have said. Obvious strategy by Saad Muhammad in this first round. Keep Dwight Braxton off him using the left jab. Boxing. Wild amateurish lunge by Braxton. Trying to get in to fight his fight the way he did against Rossman and against Scott. Thirty 
seconds to go. Round one counting down as you can see. Solomon, trainer in Saad Muhammad's corner. You did exactly right. Keep that left hand in his face. Don't let him get inside of him. Strategy, ring tactics so far, at least in planning, being established in the first round. Braxton will keep coming, or trying to. Lal Muhammad is the manager of Saad Muhammad. Wenzel McCall and Wesley Muzan are the co-managers of Braxton. Doubled up quickly on the left, Braxton did. Saad Muhammad's left hand held at his side. Leaving him perhaps susceptible to the right. See where the left is? Just heard from the corner perhaps in the background, you've got your left hand too low. And Sam Solomon is right. than halfway through the second round. Good right by Saad Muhammad. Another good right. And the left one in there. He's fighting cleverly. Braxton not able to get to him. Using the left there. Doubling him. Saving the right for whatever. Another good right. He's fighting his way. And he may have hurt Braxton. No, Braxton grins and leers, saying, I'm not hurt. Forget it. But the one possible. Oh, a good right by Braxton. Hurt Saad Muhammad. You saw it. He kept that left hand low too often and now Braxton is getting to him and this is in the more familiar pattern of Braxton fights suddenly it happened with 40 seconds left in the round the right that stunned Saad Muhammad 10 seconds left in the second round as suddenly the action grew and he's gotten in three good rights and one good left Braxton has and he's pouring the blows on Saad Muhammad and Perhaps the biggest surprise in boxing during the 1980s was Dwight Muhammad Kawi, who seemed to come from nowhere to become both the light heavyweight and cruiserweight champion. After an inauspicious start of one win, one loss, and one draw in his pro career, Kawi never looked back. His big break came in a 1980 tournament on the then fledgling ESPN boxing series. He was not even the favorite going into the tourney, but he crushed three straight opponents and won a top 10 ranking. In the next two years, he would beat top light heavyweights like James Scott, Don Davis, and Mike Rossman, and then win the light heavyweight title. His nickname, the Camden Buzzsaw, was as apt as any in boxing. He was the aggressor throughout any fight he ever had. One opponent said the five foot six inch Kawi is like a human bowling ball that keeps rolling at you. Well, along the way in his career, he embraced the Muslim religion and changed his name from Dwight Braxton to Dwight Muhammad Kawi. But the style of fighting and effectiveness never did change. He conquered the cruiserweight division as well, all except one cruiserweight, Evander Holyfield. But his close 15-round decision loss to Holyfield in 1986 remains one of the best fights of the 1980s and surely the best cruiserweight fight of all time. For ESPN Classic, I'm Al Bernstein. One of the biggest fights of his career came in 1983 when he took on WBA champion Michael Spinks. 
Later, he'll share his thoughts on that classic matchup. But now let's return to Braxton and Matthew Saad Muhammad from 1981 on ESPN Classic. The bell for round three, and as I said, this one could be a war. Smiling and leering, Braxton waiting for the opportunity. Quickly trying to double on the left. It suddenly became a war when Saad Muhammad continued to make the mistake of keeping that left hand at his side in the manner of Thomas Hearns. And Hearns paid for that against Sugar Ray Leonard. We are 30 seconds into the third round. Still fighting according to battle plan is Saad Muhammad. Boxing, trying to conserve himself. But once he was stunned by that initial right, he found himself wide open for a succession of blows, and he was hurt. But he has those remarkable recuperative powers. A warning about a low blow from Arthur McCanny, the referee, to Dwight Braxton. Now he's keeping his hands up, Saad Muhammad is. Working the left. Boxing Braxton. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, a close friend of Saad Muhammad's, a past light heavyweight champion himself, in Saad Muhammad's corner, imploring him to keep his hands up. Braxton getting in the left, not once but twice, and then a third and fourth time. But Braxton, his head snapped back by a sharp Saad Muhammad left. Less than a minute to go in the third round. This round, Braxton not able to get, although he's trying here to get to Saad Muhammad, and he snaps Saad's head back with a left. Get off, Jeff. It's hard to fight off when he gets inside like that, Mr. Braxton is. Saad Muhammad staying in ring center. A good right to the kidney area. to alert our local stations along the line that at the end of this round, we will take a station break. We'll be back with more of the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship fight. This from our local stations. is underway here in Atlantic City. WBC Light Heavyweight Championship at stake. Matthew Saad Muhammad, his ninth defense to the right of your screen. Dwight Braxton, the challenger, number five rated contender, now to the right. Trying to move inside and getting there more frequently as the third round terminated. And remember the way he came on as the second round was in its final moment. the way Braxton likes it. Get that head on the other man's shoulder and pummel away with those snapping blows that take so much of your stamina away and hurt so much. He's got a body carved in concrete, Braxton does. Against the ropes, he continues his attack. Saad Muhammad getting the punishment. But we've seen this pattern so many times before. When will it be once too many? Uppercut snapping Saad Muhammad's head, as you saw. 
Good right lead by Saad Muhammad, then a left, but Braxton's doing the damage in this round. Now Saad Muhammad trying to come to life. Blood coming out of Saad Muhammad's nose, all over his upper lip. Yes, it is a war. Less than a minute to go in the fourth round. Look at Braxton laying it on Saad Muhammad. Braxton is the one pinioned in the corner, but the one doing the punching. Saad Muhammad trying to come to life and did with a good right. But Braxton is having a tremendous round. Look at the blood coming out of Saad Muhammad's nose. Now Braxton going down to the midsection just momentarily. Once he's positioned inside, he uses the uppercut effectively, as you have seen. That's the end of round four, and we'll go to Saad Muhammad's corner. Wiping out off the blood immediately, coming out of the nose. Braxton's in fighting, a terrific early fourth round attack. Watch. Right in the left, now the right. And then pinioned in that corner. It was Braxton who threw the furious blows with Saad Muhammad's face and head. The talk. Get tired, man. Get, get tired. Saad Muhammad being spoken to in his corner. Sam Solomon. Adolf Fratako. Salim El Amin. Those are the men in Saad Muhammad's corner. There's Braxton. And the bell for round five. That's what's at stake. You saw what Mercani said. They can boo him, but they don't know what they're booing about. Arthur McCanny keeps better position and control of a fight than any referee within my memory. And I'm in this business 30 years and more. Forty-five seconds into the fifth round. Saad Muhammad trying to answer back, trying to recapture the control of the fight that he showed in the first round when he used his left so effectively. Braxton will have none of it. to the midsection. One must wonder if this time Saad Muhammad will not have the recuperative powers of the past. Look at that right lead. Muhammad holding his left low again. Braxton hurt him. Less than a minute left in this, the fifth round. The blood flow has not been reopened by Braxton from Saad Muhammad's nose. Mustafa Muhammad imploring Saad to keep those hands up, meaning specifically the left. Go, 
approaching the end of an action-packed fifth round and an action-packed fight. Round six, Matthew Saad Muhammad against Dwight Braxton, and the two have really been going at it. WBC light heavyweight crown at stake. Braxton is proving himself a worthy contender. Head on the opponent's shoulder. We have a minute to go in the sixth round. Bin Saad Muhammad's head back. Wild right that missed by Braxton, a left that connected, and Saad Muhammad trying to continue with boxing basics, using the left jab to keep Braxton at bay, but not succeeding as he did at the very start of the fight. to the belly, then to the head, and more blood from the nose, and Braxton all over Saad Muhammad. The end of the round. Now we'll stay here, live in Atlantic City, New Jersey, as the blood being wiped away again from Saad Muhammad's nose. What are you waiting for? When you going to get him? Sam Solomon talking to Saad Muhammad. When are you going to get him? Bilal Muhammad, the manager, coming over to look at my scoring, which is strictly subjective of course, as you're looking again at Braxton giving it to Saad Muhammad. I have Braxton slightly ahead at this point. But when one scores cards, and you saw that grinning leer from Braxton as he left Saad Muhammad in ring center at the end of the round. And you can see the confidence in Braxton's face. The Camden buzzsaw, they call him, because he so often fights. All five feet, six and a half inches of him from a crouch and presents often a difficult talk. punishment sought Muhammad took from Yaki Lopez but then he KO'd Lopez in the 14th knocking him down four times good right by Braxton and that fatal deficiency there's a left keeping that left too low Round 
down seven. Breathing easy. Left eye of Braxton is puffing considerably from that left jab of Saad Muhammad's. Seconds left in round seven. The action speaking for itself. You saw that uppercut shoot Saad Muhammad's head up. And another one. Once Braxton is inside of you, and again a quick snapping right. when Braxton can chew you up. Working the right uppercut there as much as he could. And the left. And we are approaching the end of the seventh round of this WBC light heavyweight title fight. Known as the Camden, New Jersey buzzsaw, Braxton is only five, six and a half, eight inches shorter than Michael Spinks. But Braxton says that's no big disadvantage. Well, no more than an elephant, you know. I guess a pygmy, a pygmy got to spin his hand, he throw it and hit the elephant, the elephant fall out. But um, I wouldn't say I'm that short. But I am short in comparison to Michael. But most of my opponents have been tall and seem like I'm more comfortable when they talk. Braxton's fight record is 19-1-1, and including wins in his last 18 fights. Ask him his condition for the title fight against Spinks, and he'll tell you superb. Ask him what he thinks of Spinks, and he'll tell you primitive. Michael, he, he punches very hard, but again, he's no Mack truck. You know, I'm the only one who'll be doing the rolling. And the only rolling he'll be doing is on the floor. And he is primitive in his style of fighting. Yeah, maybe his way of life, I don't know. But me, I'm scientific. I'm, I'm the modern man. The modern man versus primitive man. That's, what, that's how you sum this up. Spinks unified the title with a 15-round decision over Braxton. Coming up, Al Bernstein will have more on Matthew Saad Muhammad. But now let's continue with more of Saad Muhammad versus Dwight Braxton on ESPN Classic. All right, let's look at that left that hurt Saad Muhammad. There it was, Sam Solomon, as we begin round eight, just saying to Saad Muhammad, you're blowing the title, man. Yes, it is round eight, and Braxton has been all over Saad Muhammad for the last four rounds. Will the stamina be there? there? Throughout this fight, will Saad Muhammad be able to come back? Has the weight loss affected that stamina? There is no movement, as you can see, in Saad Muhammad. He is essentially flat footed. Ten seconds into round eight. And for the fifth straight round, the pattern has been unchanging. It has been Braxton all over the champion. Up a cut. Right leads over a low left hand. A left 
left hand getting in there occasionally and hurting the champion. Like that, for instance, and that. No movement from Saad Muhammad. Now, boxer man, you've basically got to have movement. There's that right lead. Blood again, pouring out of Saad Muhammad's nose. Braxton knows what his opportunity is here now. In the short uppercuts. Incessant blows by White Braxton. The leather keeps coming. Twenty-five seconds and counting down as you can see. Round eight. Warrior is often overused in the sport of boxing, but rest assured, it can be used in connection with former light heavyweight champion Matthew Saad Muhammad. With an iron will forged from a childhood in which he needed one, Muhammad rose to the top in boxing while fighting in a light heavyweight division that might have been the best it has ever been. Orphaned as a child, he and his brother had a nomadic childhood that included shelters and reform schools in Philadelphia. Through it all, Matthew kept his resolve, and when he saw Muhammad Ali sparring in a Philadelphia gym, he knew boxing was his calling. And he attacked the sport with a fervor and a zeal that made him one of the most admired fighters of his era. He won the title in one of the greatest light heavyweight matches ever held. Muhammad and then-champ Marvin Johnson engaged in a bloody and exciting battle, with the fight on the verge of being stopped in Johnson's favor because of cuts over both of Matthew's eyes. Over the next two and a half years, he would defend the title eight times, all in exciting fights. Muhammad fought at a time when all of the top light heavyweights were not just good, but excellent. And he fought virtually all of them before or after he won the title. People like Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, Yaki Lopez, John Conti, Dwight Braxton, and Johnson all made up an impressive list of the era's best light heavyweights. And he had two wars, each with Johnson and Lopez. From the mid-70s through the early 80s, the light heavyweight division was magnificent, and Matthew Saad Muhammad played a major role in making it so. For that, he's in the Boxing Hall of Fame, and for that, he will always be remembered as a talented and gallant warrior. For ESPN Classic, I'm Al Bernstein. Saad Muhammad's career came to an inglorious conclusion, having dropped 12 of his last 21 fights. When we return, it's back to the 1981 WBC light heavyweight title fight between Matthew Saad Muhammad and Dwight Braxton on ESPN Classic. We are back live in Atlantic City, round nine, and Bilal Muhammad, the manager of Matthew Saad Muhammad, is shaking his head. He, too, is concerned that this time this fighter will not have the resiliency of the past. There doesn't seem to be any snap, any spark. Braxton's tactics are unwavering. Left doubled up on Saad Muhammad's face. Already the blood from Muhammad's nose. to the ninth round. We'd like to alert our local stations along the line that at the end of this round, we'll take a station break. And there is Braxton at it again. Blood all over the desk in front of 
fora. Saud Muhammad, get off, get off. But that left jab amounts to a paw now in terms of punishment registered. Arthur McCanny has no voice in the scoring, only the judges. But he has a marvelous method for scoring a fight. He breaks around down into three separate minutes. And I'd like to see how he would be scoring this fight. Two lefts. And Braxton is having more target practice now. For a while, the left boing held him at bay. Now, inside, look at that. be back with more of the WBC World Light Heavyweight Championship fight after this word from our local stations as we await the windup of the ninth round. Saud Muhammad took in the last round. Here in round 10, Bilal Muhammad, Saud Muhammad's manager, told him between rounds, champ, you're at least four rounds behind. You've got to fight with him. You're losing this fight. It's almost over. You stay on the ropes that way. You let Braxton lay his head upon your shoulder and you're asking for it. There is no foot movement in Saud Muhammad. No sign of a late comeback yet. blows by Braxton. The blood again from Saad Muhammad's nostrils. And a constant flow from the fourth round on. Chance of the crowd speak for themselves. Two stunning lefts by Braxton, and a third as Saud Muhammad was attempting to keep him away with repeated jabs. But the punishing blows by Braxton. A minute, two minutes and five seconds into the 10th round. Get off the boat! Get off the boat! Saud Muhammad's corner imploring him to get off the ropes, and now Saud Muhammad trying to rally back. But Braxton quickly, first to the midriff, and then up with those same short snapping blows. And he is in deep trouble, and he goes down. The fight continues. Remember, the three knockdown rule is waived. There is nothing but blood now on Saad Muhammad's upper lip. This time, he appears ready to lose his title. 
They're going in. They're trying to stop the fight. That's it. Arthur McCann, he stops it. The corner went in to try to protect Matthew Saad Muhammad. There was no resiliency, no recuperativeness. Not today. Dwight Braxton, a tough cookie, five feet, six and a half inches tall, with a reach of only 71 inches. 28 years of age is the new WBC World Light Heavyweight Champion from Camden, New Jersey. The Camden Buzzsaw. You heard him say in the pre-fight interview, the man has a perfect style for me. Well, he apparently was right. Let's look at the knockdown again. But we will always have to conjecture with the notion that that last-minute weight loss also had something to do with it, taking no credit away from Dwight Braxton. And then the mysterious question, how could he have been over? Were the scales wrong the way he told us in the pre-fight interview? But that was the knockdown, and as quickly as possible, we will get Dwight Braxton to our position at ringside. Right here is where the fight was stuck. A continuous pummel incessant blows from the fourth round on. Arthur McCanny stopping it, even before, as you see, the corner man trying to get to his fighter to protect him from further damage. Yes, that man is the WBC light heavyweight champion of the world. Next question. When will there be a unification match between him and Michael Spinks? The Olympic gold medal winner, middleweight classification, who is at ringside here tonight and who is standing now right at ringside telling everybody who will listen that he is the true champion. And the happy new champion, Dwight Braxton, you said he had the perfect style for you, and I think you proved it. Ray, I knew, I knew it would be a hard fight. I knew he would hit me. I knew it. I know he take a lot of punishment. Look at the blood on you. You know what I mean? But the man is good. He's a great champion. I knew what I was in for, but I came ready. I'm a Camden buzzsaw. Look at this. Right on my road. The, the Camden buzzsaw. All right, very quickly. You really took over. In the first round, he troubled you with the jab. Troubled you again in the third. But from the fourth round on, you took over that fight, my He friend. was jabbing. He got a hard jab. He, he, he kept me at bay. And I knew I had to take some to get some. I knew what type of fight he was. He wasn't backing up. I had to keep my eyes on him all the time and pick my shot. I wasn't going to waste myself. I was going to be there for 15 rounds, for 20 if I had. I wanted this. And you were. I thank a lot. I thank a lot. I fear nothing but a lot. Remember that. That's my Let's look at that knockdown just before the end here. Look, I know he was taking shots. But I knew he wouldn't take the shot. I was shy, but I kept my eyes on him. Oh, that, that's a knockout. But, that was the but knockout. Through the whole fight, he gave it to me and I took it. I kept my eyes on him. Look at it. I know he was only human. I'm glad he stopped it because he would have been hurt real bad. I've seen him go a couple times, but he's just got stamina. My friend, you've come a long way and you've made a whole new life for yourself. Thank a lot. All praises due to a lot. I think all my fear, nothing but a lot. A lot of the nurse in the state. Congratulations, Thank Jay. And so, Dwight Braxton is the new WBC light heavyweight champion of the world. You can understand his jubilation.